What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we have a special guest. My buddy Aaron came up from West Virginia and we're making a bunch of videos. So uh, one thing that we came up with, I think it's going to be a new series. I'm going to go with the, the uh, we're going to start doing some uh, videos on work pants. So today is Black Ladders pants. I bought their, uh, I think they're the X1600s. Um, we're about to talk to talk about them. Um, Aaron's about to uh, uh, pick my brain on them. We're going to do a little ad lib here, and um, I'm going to tell him what I think about them, and he's going to uh, ask me some questions. So if you're interested, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, first things first. Uh, I know that Aaron, this is the first thing Aaron's going to, to ask me uh, before I even have to worry about it is how much do these pants cost? So these pants here from Black Ladder are the uh, X6100 or 1600s. Uh, they come in a, a totally different color scheme on every pair of pants. You can get black and get all this. These things are, are right about the $115 mark. I think I might have paid $110 for them. So uh, as far as it comes to work pants, these are pretty pricey. So, uh, all right, tear me up. What do you got? Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna tear you up. Okay, all right. Uh, but I think I think there's gonna be an equal amount of pros and cons with these pants. Okay. That that's just spoiler alert right there, right off the bat for me. Right. With them, so um, they have the built-in tool pouches. Right. So, and they have one on each side. So. They're smaller than, like, let's say, a regular tool belt, tool pouches, but it's kind of a two-in-one. You got pants and a tool belt built into the same rig, right? And that's cool. Um, how hot are they? They're hot. They're hot. Uh, they're very thick. Uh, the material is kind of really doesn't breathe. So I'd say anything uh, above sixty degrees. I'd say 60 degrees, I'm gonna sweat in them. So you wouldn't recommend this to a roofer in Florida? No, absolutely not, nope. Uh, and I think a roofer in Florida would probably be wearing shorts. And they usually go out at nighttime with floodlights and do it. Right. But so, I was so, just making a point. Right, so yeah, they're they're for colder climates. I would definitely wear them in the winter, 100%. So like right off the bat, like where I think this would be cool would be like a farmer who was going to go out and spend the day working on his fence and maybe had a side-by-side -side or a gator or some something like that or he was riding his tractor and he was going to go out and work on his fence for the day he could put his you know his fencing staples in here or, yeah. or, or whatever you know project he may be working on for the day I think it would be a cool pant for that um, what do you think yeah I, I like them uh, I, I like them for certain applications um, Finished carpentry is one one thing I can think of uh, where you need a decent pant with a lot of pockets, and you're doing you know you got your square, uh, maybe you got you know maybe you have a hammer. Uh, a lot of finished carpenters going to pneumatics and and yeah. you know electric powered stuff, but you, you you've got a, a bunch of different pockets for little tools, scribes, pencils. And by that point in a construction project, it's probably air conditioned. Yes. To where you're right. going to be fine. Right, or um, maybe a drywaller that needs a couple tools, you know, maybe a, a, a towel or a trowel, um, you know, whether they're doing tape or mud and wh whatever. I, I think these definitely offer a bunch of different uh, options. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things is you, you can you can tuck in these pot or these uh, pouches. You can tuck them inside the pants, so when you're wearing them, you know, they just look like a regular pocket. Yeah. So not not terrible, but when you do when you do tuck these in, they get tight around the hips because now you have all this extra material. I mean, heck, there's a couple places where there's four, three layers of material yeah. on the inside of where your pants usually were. And I think that would be my next hit on this. Okay. Is, okay, it's 12 o'clock, I want to go to lunch. I've got two big pockets full of screws, nails, tools, whatever. Now I have to download all of that stuff and get it off of me to tuck the pockets in and get in my truck that I don't want screws falling out in the seats of. Right. To go to lunch or go to the store to grab something I forgot. To whereas a conventional tool belt, you just boom, take it off and you're out. You're on your way. That's so true. Yeah. So that, that would be 
I think that would be one of my biggest issues with it is if you had to get in your vehicle and leave for something, you're going to want to take all that stuff out of your pockets probably. Yeah. With the exception of maybe if you were on your own property on a side-by-side -side or something like that. Right. Um, Th these pants do have the, the uh, liner for the, the knee pads. Oh, that'd be cool. I, I don't... Yeah, but see, I'm, I'm totally two-sided on that. Like, yeah, it's cool that you can put a little knee pad in it, but, you know, if I'm going to wear knee pads, I'm going to wear my pro knees. Yeah. And it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be on my knees a lot more than just... If I, if I have something... I, I don't know. If I'm going to be on my knees a lot, I'm going to wear my pro knees. I'm not going to wear, you know, these in the pockets of the knees, making it all that more bulky and hotter, and I'm just going to have my pro knees on where I can clip them off and, you know, you're fight. I, I can see you fighting with trying to put the pro or pr trying to put the the knee pads in here. I wish I had a set to put on right. um, to show you. you. You know, it might be a little harder mm -hmm. because you have to shove it up in from the bottom and then tuck it in the pocket from the. You know, so, like football pants are with their knee pads. Exactly. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get it in there, get it working right. Yeah. And then you know, it kind of binds in your pants when it gets thicker. Right. So I mean. I think for me, I don't think the fact that it's $114 is as big of a deal for me as the fact that who is going to buy five pairs of them to, to right. be able to last for a week? Maybe six pairs for a lot of people. Right. You know, um, or you're going to have to wash these every night. Because most people that would wear something like this for a living, or they're going to get pretty dirty and they're going to want to have a clean pair every day. Yep. So I think that would be probably my biggest issue with it uh, if you were going to use them for a professional everyday yeah. type scenario. But I do think it would be really cool, like I said earlier, um, if you had a big piece of land and you had a lot of maintenance to do that day and you could carry everything you needed for the day in the pants. Yeah. Um, I think they work for some trades and some applications and then some of them they just are horrible for I could see like some of the job sites I've been on in my life like a legitimate electrician um, like in this pant for what they do they're typically not carrying as much heavy stuff as like a carpenter yeah um, I think that would be a pretty cool if I were an electrician pretty cool solution yeah yeah I mean they, they have a lot of cool options I mean your, your hammer loops on the right side not the left side like everybody else does. It, yeah, that would drive me nuts as a right-handed <laughs> carpenter. Right. Um, the the stitching, the the cross in the back of the of the pants here, um, for your belt, um, keep your belt tight, not from uh, slipping out in the back. Um, I mean, they've got a lot of pockets. They've got a lot of uses. Now you can wear them for all kinds of stuff. Um, ooh, another option I don't like is this bottom here is like kind of a cinchy bottom it, mm -hmm. it like i don't know who would ever use the little the little uh adjustable elastic thing around the boot i mean what, what would you use that for i like that why do you like that though because if you were in deep mud and didn't want it on your pant legs okay you're let's say you're on a lot of like okay winter time you're on a job site okay or on your farm Winter is always muddy, it seems like. Yeah, it is. And okay, so you were to pull it up above the ankle so that it didn't get on your pants and it was just on your boots. And then, it, you know, you spray your boots off. And then okay. you can get in your vehicle and leave and you don't have mud on your pants. Okay. All right. I, I like it. That's a great solution. But I'm kind of, kind of more of a straight pants kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you see a lot of people tucking their pants down into their muck boots or. Uh, that's true. Or, or, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, although these pants are $114, $115 uh, per pair, I can't say I'm going to buy another set of them. Um, I, you know, in the future, we're going to look at some uh, offerings from Dickies because I think it, you know, like you said earlier, Dickies, there's n nobody can really argue the quality of Dickies and how long, how long they last for the price. So I think these are a very expensive option. They are good for certain applications and certain trades. Uh, I didn't have a problem with going up and down the ladder in them. Uh, they're they're not bad. They're not bulky enough that they get in the way, um, and, and they're and they're good for for certain applications. 
Uh, I'm probably not going to buy another pair. These will be an excellent winter pant or, or a cold weather pant, but uh, I think that's about all they're good for. Uh, some people won't like the style. They're a little too flashy. A lot of people want the same color, and you know that, that's I, just. I feel like how it'd it goes. be like. I feel like it would be like walking around with tents on your leg, like a camping tent for a on your legs. Right. It's it's there's a lot of bulk to them for sure. Mm -hmm. They're they're heavy pants for sure. But they've got some cool options, and some people might like them. Um, I definitely won't buy another pair, but you know I'm glad that I bought this pair because they will be good in some of those solutions. I think they'd be cool to run a chainsaw in. Oh yeah, absolutely. They're thick. Yeah, they're thick. You probably won't have to worry about them. They could probably take the place of some chaps. Um, yeah. and Still offer you quite a bit of protection. Um, not that I've ever even come close, but you know accidents do happen. Yeah. And if you nick something like this, they're not all that bad. Uh, you know, something that's comparable is Duluth's fire hose pants. Mm -hmm. You know, they're nice and thick. They're they're for winter, stuff like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the little down and dirty review we did, uh, talking about the pants a little bit, some different applications. Um, and, you know, if anything, if you're looking into the pants, do I recommend them for the price? No, the values, the, I don't think the value is there. Because it doesn't replace a tool belt in any stretch of the imagination. Right, so you could buy a separate pair of carpenter pants or or work pants, buy a tool belt, and you would still be well underneath the hundred dollar. I mean, mark. a good, good tool belt, sixty to eighty bucks, and then a good pair of work pants like Riggs, Carhartt, Dickies, thirty to forty. Yep, piece of cake. Yeah. So, so, so there it is. You you can buy a tool belt that does the exact same thing. Oh yeah, it's got a cell phone pocket. Woohoo! Uh, you know, put tool it belts in. come with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there's tons of solutions out there. So. Uh, you know, what, would I recommend them? No, I wouldn't recommend them. I don't think the value's there, uh, but there might be, you know, like an electrician carrying stuff around. Yeah, there, there's an application there, but. I'm not a farmer, but if I was, so I, maybe, maybe that's wrong, because I don't know what it's like to be a, a real farmer. <laughs> right, right. Just in my mind, if I was, I think this would be cool for farm maintenance day. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, you make a good point. So um, some people might like them, some people might not. Um, some people might look at this video and say, gosh darn, uh, you know, like I want these. Regardless of the price, these will work for me. These are awesome. So, I mean, it, it's it's all up to absolutely 100% the consumer. For me in my life, no, they don't they don't work very well. Um, and a facilities maintenance type, type thing, no, I'm not gonna wear them all day. They're gonna be too hot. Yeah. Uh, because more than likely I'm inside a building um, and I'm not doing a lot of grounds work. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you click subscribe. I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon. Uh, if you got any comments, put them in the comments below. I think this is a good start to a series of, of pants. Um, we might even have a couple more coming out um, in the next couple weeks. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Me and Aaron would love to chat with you in the comments um, and talk a little bit more. If you've got any questions, let us know and we'll see you guys in the next video.